Hello. Welcome. This is Lee. It's Pink Flamingo Friday. Today I will be talking to you about a Photoshop composite that I will be doing using the Pink Flamingo image you just saw from Upsplash given to me by Marie from my Pink Pixel Fight Club composite group. This is the Pink Flamingo image. Uh, I didn't know about Upsplash until she posted this image. I downloaded the image into Adobe Bridge into my PFCC folder on my work working file. I have three hard drives, external hard drives that are four terabytes each and I use one for working, one that holds my images, and one that's just for memory um, storage, just to keep things safe. Um, but I'm going into my Lee's images where I have my working images, stock images and such that I pull from whenever I'm doing composite images. And uh, I'm going first to 19, uh, 19, 2015, woo, 2015. Uh, in 2015, I went up to Mississauga, Canada, Toronto, Canada area around Christmas with to visit my brother-in-law. And it's very snowy. And when I looked at these images, um, two images popped out at me immediately and just struck my fancy. And it was, um, and I pulled them into the PFCC folder. Um, and you will see them in the folder later and I'll talk to you more about them. That's this image and that image, <clears throat> those two images. Um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to look through all my stock images and I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of images that I've taken everywhere from being on vacation in Disney and Universal Studios to Tennessee to the Grand Canyon in Arizona, um, just everywhere, New Orleans Zoo, um, you name it in my front yard, just taking pictures of flowers, the aquarium in New Orleans, um, the what we're looking at now, sunsets in my backyard, um, driving through Louisiana, everywhere. I just take stock images anywhere and everywhere I, I turn. Um, outside my front door, is where I get a lot of my stock images and uh, dinosaur images from one of my child's birthdays trips in Kentucky. Uh, we do a lot of traveling. Haven't done much this year, uh, going through a divorce and that means staying home and re getting myself together. Also having a little bit of health issues I will be having a complete thyroidectomy. I had half of my thyroid removed six years ago. The last half is gonna be removed on January 25th and uh, have been exercising a lot, walking a lot of 5Ks on my treadmill and at the local Veterans Memorial to get ready for that. In Bridge, I have things organized in folders um, this is my 2014 stock images of my own stuff. We went to the Grand Canyon in Arizona. And in here, I was looking through and I found an image from Arizona that struck my fancy. Oh, I stopped here. <laughs> there was an image of me at the Grand Canyon <laughs> with a sign up where you can express your First Amendment rights here like nowhere else in the Grand Canyon which was insane to me so I kind of stood there and made a point about it but here's the little jail that I found that struck my fancy and I thought hey this would be really cool like the flamingos are taking flight away from the jail and um, the snowy images took 
my interest because we've been having a cold snap lately down here. It actually snowed a couple of times and it's very rare for it to snow where I live. I live in, my, in a, what I call my lush semi-tropical paradise. I have banana trees in my yard and I live on the coast of Louisiana and they actually had snow actually offshore in the Gulf and this week, <laughs> amazingly enough. Um, so here we are, we've gone, I'm going through all my images and I have found there's some shrimp, uh, when I went to buy some shrimp one time and um, mm, I used to go shrimping, trawling when I was younger, but we don't do that anymore. We do go fishing still and crabbing but not so much trawling and just lots and lots of images so many images so little time and so this is i also picked out two images of fields with hay in it and i thought maybe i could use something with that but i ended up not using them so I start off opening the flamingo image and I into camera raw. That's what I do initially with all of my images, whether they be JPEGs or raw images. And this image happened to be a JPEG. I dehazed it a little bit and then I sharpened it because I was pretty sure I was gonna isolate and extract the flamingos from the image. Then I went in and then I opened it in Photoshop and then I went into the jail and I uh, opened it in Camera Raw. I dehazed it. I set all my settings, um, sharpened it. I can reduce the luminosity and uh, the color um, and then I did my auto balance and then I just uh, opened it up into into Photoshop also. While I was doing that I was thinking what I could do with that and then I decided between the two images I didn't like that image as much as I liked the one on the right because the one on the right had trees that were off center and I preferred that. It just had more of an appealing balance to me with the, the trees off center more. I opened it up in camera raw. This is a raw image and I did use post crop renetting because I like dark corners. I like that. Pro and I set all my images, all my um, settings the way I like to. And all your settings are to your own taste. I prefer my images at this time to be a little on the cool side since it was a snowy image. I didn't want it warm. I wanted it to be cool because it was cold. And I decided to use this snow scene from up in Canada as my base image. I took the JL image and I used the select the quick select tool and using my pen on my Wacom tablet into his pro, I selected the jail. And in the upper left hand corner under Photoshop, you can see where I'm selecting. There's, you can use plus or minus. You can go there and select um, where you can put a plus to select everything or a minus to deselect or you can have it on plus to select and if you want to deselect you just hit down option 
hit the, the option key while you're moving your pin around. So I worked very carefully using my pin to make sure I had the jail and all the parts of the jail that I wanted, including at the bottom exactly what I wanted. I wasn't sure exactly what parts of the jail I was going to be using, if I was going to be using the entire building, including the sign on the right, or the base, what you would be seeing exactly. I just decided to be very careful in my selection. And uh, once I had it selected, I just copied the selection onto a new layer by itself. And that's, I have a button set up on my tablet programmed um, to do that. And it's just uh, actually Command J is the shortcut, keyboard shortcut for doing that. Uh, and that's what's set up on my Wacom tablet, the bottom button. And uh, it took me a while to do this selection, but I just, I like to take my time doing that. It doesn't bother me to take my time when I'm making a selection. It's, I find it very soothing and making sure I get everything exact, exactly the way I want it. And you're gonna see it pop up on another layer in a second. This jail, it was in Arizona on Route 66 somewhere. Uh, I don't remember which town that was. That's, that's, there you go. And it's all by itself. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna piddle though before I, I thought there, before they did some updates I used to do this um, method of using the this part of selecting it with a layer and with a mask and I decided you know what I'm just gonna just do my puppy J thing because that's easier I was trying to figure this out and I'm like, I don't need time. I, I don't have time for this right now. I really don't. And let me just do it the way that, just the way I want, right? Like this. And not piddle with learning what changes they made to what I used to know how to use. <laughs> when I stopped using Photoshop about a year ago to take a break from it. So I just took all three images and arranged them three up vertically. That's all I did, very simply. And what I'm doing is I took the jail and I moved it over to, I dragged the jail layer over to the snow scene, holding the shift key down so it would be placed in the center. And I let it go. And then I saved the jail file so as a PSD and closed it out. Now, I'm gonna take this jail file <clears throat> I'm going to duplicate the background layer and I'm going to sandwich the jail between the two back, the, the background layer and the background copy after I shrink it down. And I'm going to place the jail in the right hand corner of the scene. Off 
hanging off the image where you will not see that sign on the right because I, I didn't like the way it looked. I'm gonna move it around for a while and you're gonna see, I'm gonna sandwich them and first I'm gonna drop the opacity so that you can see it. And then uh, move that line, that thing by mistake because I always do that. I forget I'm on the which layer I'm on. I'm just a goofball that way. So then I move my jail where I want it. Where do I want it? I want it there? No, I want it there. Do I want it there? Do I want it there? I like it there. Uh, yeah, I like it there. And what I decide to do is I will erase use the eraser tool and erase part of that top background copy so that you can see the jail but it not completely so it'll still be kind of misty kind of in the background I'm gonna start off a little strong and then I'm gonna go oh wait no I did it a little too much because everything is trial and error with me no, oh, wait, I did it a little too much. Because you see how I got got some a little too much and some a little too little. And I'm like, oh, I like it with a little, not less. So I'm going to go undo it. I'm going to start again. <clears throat> and I'm going to drop my opacity and then my flow. And then I'm going to start again. And I'm going to do a little bit at a time with a bigger brush so that the jail comes out of the mist, out of the snow. So like you're seeing it in the distance. I'm gonna make the brush smaller so that I can go between the fence posts and the fence sign. And if you look carefully, whenever I'm pushing down on the brush, there's a little red light you can see. And that's the center of the brush. And that's how I can tell where the center of my brush is, so I'm not pushing down where I don't want it to be. And I'm getting my jail to look exactly like I want it to look. And at the bottom, is it, it's like they're slow building up on the bottom of the base of it. So you don't see those stones that were on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm saving the, the, the thing as, Freezing, fleeing flamingos, PSD. <clears throat> I didn't think of felonious until a little while later, which is my final name. Okay, so now I'm working on the flamingos. And at first I just take the whole thing and I save it as a PSD and I move the file over to the winter scene and then I shrink it down and then I was getting a race around it and then I'm thinking you know we why didn't you just like you thought at the beginning, isolate those flamingos and pull them off of that thing like you did the jail, which is what I'm gonna eventually do. And I'm gonna do it twice. Cause I'm gonna, well, you're gonna see. I. I just don't think sometimes. I have holes in my brain, what can I say? I have a mess. That's just the way it is in my world. I don't know what else to say. <sighs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We don't know what we're doing. I don't know what I'm doing.
I'm thinking here, man, I just need to just go back. I just need to take this fl these flamingos off of here. Yeah, I'm going to delete it from here because I want them smaller. Anyway, <sighs> me. the time I waste sometimes not thinking. But I have fun. I enjoy what I'm doing. Flamingos are so such beautiful creatures, aren't they? Ah. See, I was gonna I was gonna erase it and then I'm like, nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not today. We're gonna do something else. Yes, we are. Ooh, didn't put that shift button down. You saw how if you don't put the shift button down, it doesn't go right. Cause, and then I thought, why am I? isolating it but it's small let me just delete it and go back to the main thing the main page this big thing the way it is and now let me isolate it so I'm gonna isolate it and then I'm gonna duplicate the isolated version because I decided that I might not want the flamingos to be in the exact position where they are, <clears throat> right? And usually I do a really good job of cutting out things from images, but this time I didn't do quite a good job, particularly on the flamingo on the right and his legs. I got some of the water and it shows up white on the, but the snow is white, so it really doesn't matter. And when I pull it over, you're gonna see it. At first I was gonna clean it up and then I thought, snow's white. <laughs> it's just gonna blend in. You're never gonna see it. <sighs> so I didn't fix it. I used to be very, very, perfectionistic and if there was some parts of things that were not perfect I would fix them no matter what even if you didn't see it oh yeah I would but I'm getting to that point where it's like it's in the snow nobody's gonna see it the only one who knows is me well, now you know, too, because I'm, I'm telling you about it, but still, it doesn't bother me. Because <sighs> you really can't see it. There are certain things you need to worry about in this life, and a little extra stuff on a flamingo's legs and the grand scheme of things is no big deal. So, I'm piddling with that thing again. I don't know why. But here I got them. And I duplicate it. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And it's going to be Flamingo 1 and then Flamingo 2. Flamingo one, flamingos, and then I'm gonna do copy flamingos one, flamingos 
those two. And I'm going to copy tape both at the same time, bring it over with the sh holding the shift key down so they're in the center of the image, even though you don't have to put it in the center of the image, it's just out of the habit. Okay, and then keeping them together because I might want them at the same place. You never know. I'm going to downsize them. I'm going to do Command T because I work on a Mac. Command T and we're holding the shift button down. Shrink them down. Put them where I want, but I'm going to shrink them down even more <clears throat> because the head of the one on the right is in front of that tree. And when I erase the top part, the tree shows through onto the head and it just doesn't work. So I have to shrink them down more. And I do end up moving the one on the left further up and higher. But I do shrink them to the same size. So here I am, I'm erasing the one on the left off of the one, off of the the flamingo one and there we have now we're going to do some opacity work I was freaking out for a little while because I was like, oh my God, how can I still see it? So, now I'm gonna take the eraser on that layer, reducing my opacity and flow. And then I'm going to realize, you know, his head is in the tree, and I don't like that. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to undo what I'm doing. See, I have to go really hard on the head, and then it doesn't look like he's in the snow anymore. No, don't like that. Mm -mm. Don't like it at all. Having a Wacom tablet is so important when working, doing this kind of work in Photoshop because you use pin pressure and I also use the radial button to change the size of my brush tip. I use the buttons all the time. I I could not imagine using a mouse anymore. I don't even I don't even use my mouse. I use my pen constantly for everything that I do. See, I just went back in my history and erased all my erases. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, so I just shrunk my little flamingo to the size I want. And now I am going to see. I'm gonna 
erase the other one. And then I'm going to move number two to where I want it, higher up. And I'm going to turn that one on and I'm going to look back. I'm going to stand, sit back in my chair and look. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's where I want them. That looks good to me. And then I'm going to go and use the eraser tool on both of them and start erasing. And you'll see them come out. And after I erase, I got, I'm going to be really quick on the one on the left erasing because I don't need to worry about uh, anything like the fence. So he's showing up quicker. The one on the right I have to be a little more careful about because of the fence. See how the one on the left is showing up? Then I'm going to switch to the one on the right. Now comes his head. His wings are showing up. I'm moving so fast you don't see the uh, tip of the, the pin on the screen. done and then I thought but you know it could be even better so what I do is I control I do control option shift E and merge everything to a layer and then I make it a smart object And then I run, <clears throat> which I'm going to do in a second. And when I do that, I run the filter of, well, I, I, let me think about it. I have a mess and I can't find my words sometimes, so please forgive me. Um, camera raw filter. The camera raw filter on it again and when I run the camera raw filter on it oh here I am, here I am looking up felonious <laughs> how to spell felonious Felon. uh. and then I look in the thesaurus. thesaurus there it is felonious because I am a notoriously bad speller. I graduated with honors in English from college, from university, but, and I have a degree in French, uh, but can't spell, I'm a polyglot. I speak English, French, Haitian Creole, Spanish, and a little bit of Russian, but you know, and, a smidgen of Karen Rwandan and any 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 French dialect thing you want to come up with but spelling is just not my forte so here I am in camera raw after making this a smart object and I gave it a little bit of that you know darkened edges again um, and just yeah look auto look makes it brown nope no nope, nope, we want it cool want it cool and I even push yeah just as shot okay and then I went into on one which is a photo suite um, 
imaging a software suite that does uh, magical stuff to images and makes them pretty. And I like it. And I'm not, I went through various ones. I went through a whole bunch. The first one that I put on here is Tijuana Sunrise, which is the one that I used on the last image that I did. And I was like, no, this is too red. No, 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 no. And so I let it populate. And I have an old computer. And uh, <laughs> then I tried different ones. This is my original. Again, if you look on the right, if there's nothing where it says, uh, if there's no, if there's nothing on the right, it's just the image, my original image of what I had done originally. And then uh, if you see things on the right, it's a preset from one of their effects. So, Tijuana Sunset was in my favorites. Now we're going through different ones. This is different architecture. And, and they had different ones like cold and crisp. And I thought, hey, that might be a good one. And I clicked on that. And I just tried different ones. And I'm like, oh, I like it. the ones. I picked three different ones that I liked and then I saved them in the favorites and then I went back in the end and I looked at each one I went back and forth through them three times or two times two or three times and then picked the one that I just happened to like the best at that time see look look cold and crisp this and i was like no i don't like this no because there's no more pink in the pink flamingos no that was a no and here's another one that's back my back to my original here's one i was like oh that's not bad hmm. And if I like it, I put it, there's a heart in the upper right hand corner, so I can put a little heart on it. So whenever it populates on the left here, and all of the colors show up, I see like grunge vintage here, vintage grunge. I'm like, hmm, hmm, do I like this? Do I like this? Yes, no. Changing different things on it and seeing. Cool. All the different effects that you can get. It's presets and it, it's just really cool. How pretty and different. And I just played around with this for a while, for quite a while, to tell you the truth. Because it was very, it, it's very entertaining to me. Back to my original. There's one. Back to my original. There's one. my original. There's one. See, it, they, they have just all these different versions. Hmm. Different effects you can pick.
and do you really want that? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Remember when I first started using Photoshop back in the Army? When I got the illustrators to start showing me how to use it, and we were doing a newspaper back in Gitmo, Cuba in 92 for the Haitians. And I thought, this is amazing. And I tell you what, it couldn't even do one, one thousandth of what it can do now. I'm just so glad I've kept up with it. I just think Photoshop is the coolest thing. Doesn't that look cold? Oh, that looks so cold. much blue. Still like my pink flamingos pink. You know what's amazing is sometimes you can look at an image and edit it one day and you'll pick a certain way. And then another day you could edit it and you'll edit it a completely different way just because of how you feel. It doesn't make it wrong. So now I've narrowed down my three choices. Here's one, here's two, here's three. Hmm. Which do you think I'll choose? Two, one. Hmm. Three. Don't like three. One. Two. Change that, see what that does. One is it, baby. One is my choice. It looks 
looks cold. It's not too blue. Just the right amount of crunchiness. Just the right amount of crunchiness for flea, freezing, fleeing, felonious flamingos. Now, what I do when I finish my image is I save the PSD in their, the original size. Then I Um, then I save it as a JPEG in this original size and I save it in my final images and then I save it in the file and then in the final images. And then I change these images. Final images indeed. It's a large file. <clears throat> And now I'm going to change it to 72 pixels, PPI, pixels per inch, which is the standard resolution for screens right now. And I always forget what the dimensions are for our pixel fight club continues. And then I have to go and I have to find, and I always, and I don't remember now which, but it's always, it's always in the about, about category where I finally find it. Um, you'll see some of our people's work. About category, about, 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 keep going up, going up there. And it is. 1,500 by 900. There you go. And 900. I have to do the 900, not the 1,500. Because if I do 1,500, it's more than 900. So I'm going to save that as a JPEG and then I'm going to post it on the site with the name of it and then I'm done. I saved it a little smaller so the size wouldn't need to be. Uh, replace. And there we go. And now I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to upload my image. And it's for one, one, eighteen.
for the week. And that was my image from the week before, right underneath it. There you go. And you're about to see a better image of the picture that I did, the composite that I did. It's about to come up. One second. Here it comes. Right about now. I'm pleased. I like it. What do you think? Happy Pink Flamingo Friday. And you have a great weekend. Bye now.